Today we shall have a look at the SL algorithm. So this algorithm says that assume random weights initially. In the problems which I will be solving, you would given the random weights. Choose suitable learning constant eta and then present each of the input vectors which are given to you. Now the weight matrix is given as WJ. If at all there are three nodes, then it will be having three rows. So, uh, you need to compute the distance between the input vector x of k and the weight of that particular node wj. So, Euclidean distance is given as this particular equation. This is the Euclidean distance. Now, you will be getting Euclidean distance of x1. Supposing this is your input pattern x1 and this is your weight matrix. So in this weight matrix, this will be the first node W1, W2, W3, all the weights will be written. So you find a distance between X1 and W1, X1 and W2 and X1 and W3. So what you will get is that you will get one particular node for which the distance between X1 and the weight vector is least. That will be considered as the winner node. So and what is to be done is that we have to only update the weights of the winner node. So this is the equation for the weight update of the winner nodes. After that we have to present the second pattern x2, x3, x4 and so and so forth till all the patterns are over. Then we have to repeat the same procedure. Again you have to present all the patterns for the next iteration and this has to be done till the network converges. So this is in brief the SL algorithm. We shall solve the problem on SL algorithm so that we get a better understanding about this algorithm. The problem is apply SCL algorithm for the following 3D vectors forming the training set. So you are given 6 vectors x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 and you are given the weight matrix and then the learning constant is also given to you. Now if at all you see the algorithm it says assume random weights. So the weight matrix is already given to you. Choose suitable learning rate constant or learning rate of constant eta. This is also given to you. So you need to start from here. That is present the input pattern. The first pattern x of k. So we shall be presenting the first pattern. So in the solution we shall take and the first thing what we shall do is that present pattern x1. Step 1 I will write present pattern x1. So when you present pattern x1, what you need to find is that next step is calculate the Euclidean distances between dkj. That is dkj is nothing but it is now x of k that is x1 is given. So you have to calculate d11, d12. So this is the first, this is your j is equal to 1. j is equal to 1, this is j is equal to 2, j is equal to 3. So this row, first row, second row and the third row. So we find the Euclidean distances. So what is the first one? It will be d11. So it will be d11 square you can find d11 or you can find d11 square. So what is the formula here? x of k minus omega uh, wj. So the first element, this one, it will be 1 comma 1 minus 0.2. square plus 1.7 minus 0.7 whole square plus 1.8 minus 0.3 the whole square. So this is what we would be getting. So this is 0.9 square plus 1 square plus 1.5 square. So this is d11 square. So this would be 4.06. So we need to calculate d11. You can calculate d11 or keep it as d11 square also. Next one. 2 square it will be 
1.1 minus 0.1 square plus 1.7 minus 0.1 square plus 1.8 minus 0.9 square. So if I told you again calculate this, you would be getting this as 0.9 square plus 1 point sorry this is not 0.9 this will be 1 so 1 square this will be 1.6 square plus 0.9 square so when you add this you will get something like 4.37 next we find d so we get again we get 1 square plus 0.7 square plus 0.8 square and this distance comes out to be around 1.14 so we have calculated the distances d13, d12, d11 which is the lowest d13 is lowest that is lowest or the least distance therefore I say that x1 belongs to plus C. Therefore, winner node is C. Now please note that the first one belongs to class A, second to class B, third one belongs to class C. The pattern vectors for this will be belonging to class A, class B, class C. The, sorry, what I mean to say is that the weight vectors, every row of the weight vector will correspond to a particular class. So the first row corresponds to class A, second row corresponds to class B, third row corresponds to class C. Now which one? D13 is smallest. That means that the pattern which you have presented x1 of t belongs to class c. So basically for what reason we are using this SCL we are using to cluster. There is no information given at the beginning whether these patterns belong to class 1, class 2, class 3, nothing. There are three classes because there are three nodes in the output layer. So as you can see that the weight matrix is of three, order, uh, three rows it is having. That means each row corresponds to one particular node. So there are three nodes A, B, C. So which is the winner node? Node C is the winner node in this case. Now we have to present the, uh, before presenting, now what we need to change do is that we need to update the weight matrix. Now which of the weights will be updated? Only of the winning node. Only these particular weights will be updated. So we need to change the weights of the matrix. Since node C or node U, if you, you don't write C, you can write node 3 also. Okay? Or uh, you can write in, I'll write in bracket, depending upon what you want, node 1, node 3 is winner node. If at all you don't want C, you can write it as 3 also. Because 3 corresponds to C. So sometimes in the problem, uh, they indicate the rows as A, B, C. That is the reason I have used A, B, C. So it depends. If at all you want to write A, B, C, you can use A, B, C. If at all you want to write node 1, 2, 3, you can use 1, 2, 3. Anything you can use. So we need to update the weight of node C. So that will be delta W3. Now what is the equation for delta W? So only of the winner node, here we see that the equation is eta x of j minus wj. So what was the original weight and what is x of j? So what is eta? Eta, so I just write x1 minus what was initially w3. So that would be x1 is what? Uh, x1 is nothing but 1.1. 1.7, 1.8 and this, the last weight was 1, 1, 1. If at all you want to see the weight matrix, it is 1, 1, 1 here. So, I can find what will be the weight update. It will be 
0.5 times this will be 0 0.1, 0 0.7 and 0 0.8. So what will be the, this will be 0 0.05, this will be 0 0.35, this will be 0 0.4. So the new weight that is W3 new will be nothing but This is W3 old. If at all I want W3 new, it will be nothing but W3 old plus delta W3. So what was the old? 1, 1, 1. New I get is 0 0.05, 0 0.35 and 0 0.4. It is the weight update. So I will be getting 1.05, 1.35 and 1.4 is your new weight. So now we need to update the weight matrix and then the new weight matrix will be what? The new weight matrix will be given as now Next we shall be going to step 2 that is present the pattern x2. Now in this particular problem I will be only doing two steps because all the steps are same. So I need not do all the six steps. Six patterns are given to you so you need to do six steps in one iteration. Present pattern 1 do these steps. Present pattern 2 again do the same steps. Present pattern 3 again do the same steps. So up till six steps you have to do. So I will be doing only two steps of this particular problem. When we present pattern x2, we have to calculate the distances These three distances we have to calculate. So it is between 0, 0, 0. So it is very simple here. 0, 0, 0 minus 0 0.2, 0 minus 0 0.7, 0 minus 0 0.3. So I can just write 0.2 square plus 0.7 square plus 0.3 square. So this will come as 0.62. Next it will be 0 minus 0.1 square plus 0 minus 0.1 square plus 0 minus 0.9 the whole square. So this also you can calculate what you get. You may get around 0.83. The next one is... Now this is 0 minus 1.05 square plus 0 minus 1.35 square, 0 minus 1.4 the whole square. This will come out to be around 4.885. You all please calculate these values. Now again, which is the least distance which we are getting? So D21 is least distance. So the node 1 or I can say node A is the winner node. So we need to update the weights of the first row that is this one. So what is the weight update equation? Weight update equation is nothing but 0.5 times it will be what is the input which was given. minus the earlier existing weight so this will be 0 0.5 this will be minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.3 so this will be your delta w1 so delta w1 will be this will be minus 0.1 minus 0.35 this will be minus 0.15 so what will be w1 w1 will be nothing but the original weight that is uh, delta w1 plus so this is nothing but delta uh, sorry w1 new w1 old so it will be Plus 0 0.2, 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14
0.7.3. So if I to define this, it will become 0.1, 0.35. 0.15. So this is the new weight. So the new weight matrix will be updated and I will erase this and the new weight matrix will be written as this row will be replaced with 0 0.1, 0 0.35 and 0.15. So this particular second pattern will belong to first uh, no, node that is the winner uh, which is the winner node that is node A. Similarly I want you to find out what would be the next iteration step 3, step 4, step 5, step 6 and I want to see these problems are very lengthy but you need to understand the procedure for them nothing difficult it is it is very simple the procedure is the same. Similarly next we shall be solving LVQ problems so LVQ problems also will be almost same as SEL problems. After that we will be solving SOM problems. That also will be similar to this particular algorithm which is SEL. So that is the reason we can quickly finish SEL, LVQ, SOM. And once all those things are done, we are done with unit 3 also. So I wanted to continue for the rest of the 4 steps. Fine.